This is a demo of the Shelfex Merchant login. So when you buy a, a Shelfex fixture, you also get a login to the Shelfex system. It will be your short domain name, .shelfex.com. It will bring you to this login screen, the Merchant login screen. You enter your username or email and your password and you click login. The interface is built with jQuery Mobile, which is uh, enabling uh, mobile access from any device, Android or iPhone or iPad. Uh, so when you actually resize the screen, it's changing it accordingly and changing the menu. So it's very, very, uh, very, very flexible. The first thing you will do when you log in, you'll go to product section and uh, set up all your products and pricing, new products. You have categories that you can create in product categories. For example, if I want to have a candy category, I'll create a product category. So when I go back to products, I do new product, and I can select the candy category. I can call it gum. What's really important is to choose per item and the sales price, which is the default sale price uh, of the item. And then I can do create product or create a new if I want to create uh, another product right after that. So we have the categories here. I will see candy. We have done for one hour. By clicking uh, Planogram, you can actually assign a product to a shelf. So you start by uh, selecting which location we're going to work on and then you can see all the fixtures that we have in this location. So if I want to change what's on shelf A1 in the candy fixture, I can click on that <clears throat> then I can select the product that I want uh, to have and then I can define minimum quantity, maximum quantity, which uh, when we better show the pick list, we'll, we'll explain what it does. Uh, the current quantity we can set to whatever is right now in the fridge. Uh, we have a list price, which is what's in our products table. And we can do a, an override price for that specific shelf and specific location. So we can say our product, uh, the seven up costs a dollar, but in this location is a dollar fifty or 75 cents. So the minimum quantity says, do not show on the pick list unless the, there are uh, minimum quantity items. For example, we can have a shelf with 12 cans on it, that, which is the maximum. And we say when it reaches four, then bring it to the pick list. Otherwise, don't show it on the pick list yet. And the maximum quantity is, of course, the size of the shelf, how many items we can actually fit on that shelf. And the current quantity, is changing automatically by the system. So when we go to create a pick list, it will ask us for which location do you want to visit today. And I can select this location and I'll generate a pick list. It will generate this pick list for me. I can click on it and I can see what sh should I bring for uh, each location. It's also give me the ability to change what I'm sending. So if this, if the pick list tells me to send 16 um, apples, uh, but we uh, we only have 10 in stock, 10 in our um, on, on in the uh, warehouse, so we can change the number here and then hit update, and we know that we only sent 10. Another feature here we will be our the ability to look for customers. My customers, you can search for your customers you can search by different methods i'm going to search by name you can click on the person name and then you can actually give customer credit to this person or see their transaction sales activity will show you all the sales that you had you can do sales by location select the SWIC, and you can see what happened per, per location. You can then click on the location 
and you can see all the individual sales, the people and what they bought and the quantity. If you wanna, this guy bought three items, we can actually refund stuff to him by clicking on the item and select how many items we want to refund and click return. <clears throat> you can also do in sales activity sales by product again this week you can see all the products you can see who bought them from here we'll go uh, we're done with the merchant application we can continue to the configuration application the configuration application is like at the control panel in Windows. It's anything to do with hardware and uh, accessing the hardware and which shelves are we connecting to which port. So it's more for the technical person and for the admin person versus the person that does the, the work, the business work. So if you want to define new locations, you go to location and you create a new location and you enter the location information here. Uh, fixtures, if you want to create a new fridge in a location or a new cabinet, you create new fixture. And yet we have profiles that you can select from and you can create your own with some uh, parameters that we'll go over in a second. So you create the fixture name. You select if it's a open shelves or does it have a lock? Uh, we have a magnetic lock or a latch in the system. In fixtures profiles, uh, we, you can create profiles for a fixture so you can define the low funds threshold. So if a person does not have auto load on their X card account and they have less than $5 in this case, we will not open the door. So only if uh, only if uh, it's a good customer that has credit card attached to their cards and we are allowing it to open the door if the balance of his funds are below that amount. We have temperature settings that we can lock the door if the temperature goes above uh, a certain uh, uh, degree. So if you have a sandwich in the, in the fridge and it goes above a certain uh, temperature, we don't open the door. We can also decide to put the fixture back in service if it's a, an item that does not, uh, does not care for if the temperature went up. For example, if it's a soda and now it's warm, that's fine. We are not going to open the door, but when it becomes cold again, then we'll open the door. We can also set uh, times where uh, we are out of service. So in places that compete with existing business, we can say this machine is out of business during those hours. Devices are basically the, the physical hardware that we have. We have the shelf connector unit and the reader display unit, and you can define those and add new devices. Usually it comes like that from ShelfX, already predefined, but it will give you the freedom to actually change uh, devices and move them around. In devices, you can see uh, so again, in, information that is relevant to admin uh, in this case. Shelves, if you create new shelves or you want to add and connect new shelves, this is where you go. Uh, a new shelf <coughs> will say which fixture you want to connect it, which uh, name you want to give it, a uh, row and column, uh, which device are you going to connect it, and port, the physical port. We have 16 ports on the boards. What display unit is going to display what happens to this shelf? And also the sensitivity of the load cells on that shelf. Offset means um, where we start to measure uh, the weight and the sensitivity is how sensitive the shelf is going to be. If uh, the heavier the products are, the less sensitive you want it to be and the, and, uh, the number should be um, should be higher if so if you have heavy products the number should be like 20. if you have less uh if you have really light products you use uh, a low, lower number on the sensitivity the shelves show you some 
other important information, which is the location, the port that it's connected to, which product is signed to it in the planogram, what is the current quantity, and based on the planogram, based on the planogram, and also the electronic reads here, which is what are we reading right now, which is a 457. What is the tear? So when there is nothing on the shelf, what what number is set, and what is the electronic reading of that product? The electronic reading of the product is when we put new products on the shelf, we need to teach the system what's the weight of each product. The way it's being done today is you load the, the shelf with products, you get two beeps from the system, you remove one item, you get a long beep, and now the system knows how much each item weighs, and this is this E number right here. Employees is for you to set access to uh, to the employees for the merchant application. Uh, remember, this application can be accessed from any mobile device. So you create a new employee, you give them an X card number for them to be able to open a fridge and load products. In the settings, you can upload your logo and you can set your email communications, uh, which is the welcome. Uh, for example, the welcome page, uh, when a new customer is, is joining, uh, you can send in a welcome uh, email from your company. You can uh, upload your, your logo uh, for that email as well. The consumer goes to xcard.me to create an account and to add funds to their card. They have to enter their email information, their credit card information, the amount they want to load to their cards and if they want to enable auto load so if their balance go below five dollars we automatically charge your credit card and, add, and replenish the card if they hold the card they can enter the card number right here and they have to accept the terms of, of agreement they can then access their account i'm going to log in as me here They can see their balance. They can change password, change their address information. And they can add funds um, manually or set auto load if they want to. They can add new credit cards. They can add household members. And they can add more X cards to their account and assign those X cards to the household members. So they can pick up a blank card and select one of their household members and, and attach it to them. In the household members, uh, each member has uh, their name, but they also have uh, their email address and some allergies information. So if we know about a product that has these uh, aller allergens in in the list and we actually beep this the, the fridge beeps and tell and say that there is an allergy risk here in the conductivity they can see uh, the purchases they had by again selecting history and hit submit and see their their purchases settings they can uh, update their email settings 